Ever wondered why giving someone too much attention might not always be a good idea? According to psychology, when someone constantly receives excessive attention, they start seeking even more to fulfill their emotional needs. This can lead to not-so-healthy patterns in how they interact with others. But it doesn't stop there. The drawbacks of too much attention are not only harsh, but also diverse, and can impact not just you but your loved ones as well. In this video, we're not just scratching the surface, we're diving deep into the intricate repercussions faced by individuals who have struggled with the aftermath of excessive attention. We'll explore the impacts of imbalances in attention sharing and understand why maintaining a healthy equilibrium is paramount. So, let's dive in. Number 1. Unhealthy Dependence any relationship is like a garden filled with vibrant flowers. Taking care of your garden is necessary. However, what will happen if you excessively water this garden? The plants will drown and the vibrant colors will fade. Similarly, when you give too much attention to someone, there is a significant risk of addiction and dependency. Just like drowning a garden leads to unhealthy, wilted flowers, excessive attention can drown out the vitality of a relationship. Emotional dependency sets in when one person becomes the sole source of your happiness, validation, and emotional well-being. Addiction to anything is detrimental, and the same applies to being addicted to a person. It's like relying on a single type of nourishment for your emotional sustenance. Over time, this emotional dependency can lead to a lack of resilience, making it challenging to navigate the inevitable ups and downs of life. To cultivate a healthy emotional landscape, it's crucial to distribute attention and care across various aspects of your life. This ensures that your emotional well-being thrives like a diverse and resilient garden, where no single flower holds the weight of your entire emotional world. Number 2. Lead to Burnout The challenge of lavishing someone with excessive attention lies in the fact that once people sense your attentiveness, they come to expect a consistent and increasing level of attention. Yes, no one hates attention. When they expect more of it, you feel like you need to live up to their expectations, which can become exhausting and draining over time. Consider your relationship or friendship as a cozy fireplace. Imagine showering it with too much attention. It's like tossing a whole bunch of firewood in all at once. You get a big flame, but it burns out fast. Giving too much attention follows a similar trajectory. At the start, it feels invigorating. You're fully invested and deeply connected. However, as time passes, it transforms into a draining experience. Why does this happen? Because attention is like fuel, and when it's all directed outward, there's nothing left for yourself. So, what should you do? Well, the art lies in discovering the Goldilocks Zone, the sweet spot where the flame stays steady and comforting, steering clear of an overwhelming blaze. It's not about neglect or selfishness, it's a recognition that attention is a finite resource. Like any fire, it demands the right balance of fuel to burn steadily. Number 3. Hurt of Unmet Hopes When you invest all your attention in one person, it's like crafting a masterpiece, putting your heart into every stroke of the brush. You hope that the painting of your relationship will be a beautiful collaboration. But here's the twist. There's no guarantee that the person you're dedicating your efforts to will contribute to the masterpiece in the same way. Relationships are like art. Sometimes your vision might not align with theirs. When those expectations aren't met, it's like you put effort into creating a masterpiece and your partner sees it as just a doodle. The disparity can leave you feeling let down and, at times, deeply hurt. So, it's always wise to approach relationships with a balanced mindset. By distributing your attention wisely, you can craft a healthier emotional canvas, reducing the risk of feeling disheartened when not every stroke aligns with your artistic vision. Number 4. Damaged Social Life Imagine your social circle as a vibrant tapestry woven with different threads, each representing a unique friend. Now, think about focusing all your energy on a single thread, inadvertently leaving the others untended. Wouldn't it create an unwanted imbalance of colors? See, in a social gathering, diversity is the key. Each friend contributes a distinct color to the canvas of your social life. However, when you concentrate all your efforts on one individual, it's like dimming the brilliance of the entire tapestry. Having a varied social life introduces you to new perspectives, interests, and experiences. It's like having different spices in your life that make it more flavorful and enjoyable. On the flip side, investing all your social attention in one place can lead to a kind of social monotony. By keeping a balance and spreading your social energy across various connections, you're ensuring that your social life remains vibrant and fulfilling. 
Just as a tapestry comes to life when every thread is given its due, your social landscape thrives when attention is distributed thoughtfully. Number 5. Loss of Intrigue now, another significant drawback of showering someone with excessive attention is the risk of becoming mundane or unremarkable to them. Isn't what we work for and compete for more precious to us? When we offer too much attention to a silver platter, we run the risk of losing the intrigue that comes with a bit of mystery. It's the thrill of discovery and the journey of earning someone's attention that make the connection more special. Think about it. The things we have to put effort into tend to hold a more significant place in our hearts. So instead of being overly available and potentially fading into the background, maintaining a balance ensures that your presence remains captivating and cherished, making the relationship more exciting and meaningful for both parties. Number 6. Lead to Disrespect It might sound counterintuitive, but too much attention can pave the way to disrespect. When you shower someone with an excess of attention, there's a risk of inadvertent disrespect. It's like giving someone the key to your house but forgetting to establish which rooms are off limits. Without clear limits, the line between genuine interest and overstepping can blur. Preventing disrespect involves maintaining a balance in the attention you give. It's about ensuring your actions are met with appreciation, not a sense of entitlement. Just like any healthy relationship, it thrives on mutual understanding and respect for personal boundaries. So, be mindful of the attention you lavish on others, making sure it enhances the connection without veering into the territory of disrespect. It's like building a bridge of appreciation rather than paving a path to unintentional disregard. Number 7. No space, unlimited access to your life. Have you ever noticed when we give too much attention or are always available for someone, it sends the signal that we have no boundaries? It's like having an open door policy without any limits. When we constantly pour our time and attention without defining when and where to draw the line, it can be misconstrued as an invitation for unlimited access. It's similar to leaving the gate wide open and others may unintentionally assume they have unrestricted entry. Setting boundaries is not about being distant, it's about establishing a framework for mutual respect. It's a way of saying, here is the space I need and here is the space you need. Without these guideposts, people might unknowingly cross into territories where they shouldn't, leading to a lack of understanding and respect. So, consider boundaries as the unspoken rules that maintain balance in a relationship. They are the key to ensuring that your time, attention, and emotional energy are valued and reciprocated, creating a healthier and more respectful connection. Number 8. Disrupting Life's Harmony Imagine your life as a big jigsaw puzzle, with each piece representing something important – your health, studies, job, relationships, and time with friends. It's like mixing various ingredients to create a unique recipe. Now, imagine if you put all your energy into just one piece or ingredient, trying to make everything revolve around it. Here's the scoop. Life is like a recipe, and each part needs its time to shine. If you focus too much on just one thing, like spending all your time with one person, it's a bit like putting way too much salt in your dish. It throws off the entire flavor. In simpler terms, your life is made up of different parts, and they all need attention to create a balanced and tasty mix. Imagine you have a plate with different foods – the veggies, the protein, the carbs, and the dessert. If you only eat the dessert, you miss out on the goodness of the whole meal. So, when you concentrate too much on one thing, you risk upsetting the balance of your life. It's like trying to play a song with just one instrument. It might sound off. Finding the right mix ensures that your life is like a great dish, where each part contributes to an overall enjoyable experience. Number 9. Boredom in the Long Run Have you ever heard the saying, too much of anything is bad? It's like having your favorite ice cream. At first, it's super tasty, right? But if you eat it all day, every day, you might get bored or feel a bit suffocated. Well, it's the same with anything in life, especially when you give too much attention or focus on just one thing, be it a hobby, a person, or anything else. If you overdo it, you might end up feeling either bored, like you've had too much of the same thing, or suffocated, like it's too overwhelming. The trick is finding the right balance and enjoying things in moderation so you can savor and appreciate them without getting tired or overwhelmed. It's like having variety in your life, making each experience enjoyable without going to extremes. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. 
For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.